What's proper game? Today I'm going to be reviewing the UA8000 from Warm Audio. I'm going to show you what it comes with, how it sounds with different preamps and EQs. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about more videos like this. Shout out to Z Sounds for sending me this microphone. Go ahead and check out their website, link in the description. They have a bunch of different gear that you might need, including this UA8000 from Warm Audio. Also, if you're looking for music templates, loop kits, mix it and mastering, link in the description. Check out my website at musicgain.com. All right, gang, so I just wanna show you this microphone real quick. You know, I've been letting this warm up, you know what I'm saying? You gotta let this warm audio microphone warm up because it has a tube microphone in it. And you know, it's supposed to be the very expensive $10,000 microphone from Sony, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this sounds exactly like it. I, I played with one one time in my life, you know, the real one, and you know, it sounded really great. But this microphone so far, you know, I'm just testing this out, you know, to me, it sounds pretty good let me know what you think in the comments would you spend this type of money to get this microphone or would you not get this microphone what other microphones would you get for the same price so for this video i'm just going to be doing a vocal test you know just like voiceover test you know what i'm saying i'm not going to do any rapping or singing in this video i'm gonna do another video like that make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you want to see that video and hit that like button too so i have this microphone plugged into my Neve 1073 not using any eq and i think it sounds really good i also have a couple universal audio plugins right now but before I get to that, real quick, I want to show you what comes in the box when you get this thing. It comes with this really nice suitcase. It's very big. I like the way how it looks. It looks very sturdy. And if you're traveling, you know, you could take this with you and go places. When you open the box, it comes with this power supply so you don't need phantom power in your interface or anything like that. Just plug this power thing in and it's gonna power your microphone. This is a very big power box. It also comes with cables so you can plug it straight into the microphone into the power box. And then you'll plug your microphone cable into where the power box is. And now we have this beautiful microphone that's supposed to emulate the Sony C800G. And I think it looks great, man. You know, it doesn't look 100% like it, but you know, it's close enough. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some of my settings that I have with the Neve 1073 and some of the plugins that I'm using to get this type of sound or whatever like i said i had this microphone plugged into the need 1073 it was a really great preamp and I, I highly recommend you guys go ahead and get one yourself or like a, maybe a clone i don't know how good the clones are like that but you know even this right here is a really great option for a preamp for any microphone not even just the ua 8000 so right now i had the eq on earlier in the video you heard this whole thing with the eq off all right so as you can see i got the high band pass here let me go ahead and go through the knobs and show you exactly what it sounds like make sure you guys subscribe to the channel hit that like button i appreciate it how do you think this thing sounds man i'm just going through all these frequencies and I honestly, I think it sounds really, really good, man. Really, really solid. I like how it sounds. So here's the low band pass right here. I have it at 60 hertz. So let me go ahead and play with some of the knobs. How does it sound? Oh man, oh man, this is a lot of bass. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Let me go ahead and play other frequencies so you can hear what it sounds like. Let me turn it up. My check one, two. If you get this preamp and this microphone, which knob and which setting would you have if you had this exact same setup, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going through some of these frequencies. I like it when I have it at 60, I think it sounds pretty good, but just turn it up to like maybe like the first dot or um, another dot, whichever one you guys think sounds great. Next, let's go to the mids. As you can see, I have it at 7,000. Like I said in my other video, I think that's a really great option. If you wanna open up your microphone and get a nice cleaner sound, keep it at 7,000. And then, you know, let me go ahead and open it up. Does it sound better? Does it sound good? I like to sing, yeah. How does that sound? <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and go through some of these other frequencies here so you can see what it sounds like. My check one, two, how does it sound? Does it sound like a really good microphone if you wanna you know, spend this type of money? Is this the type of microphone that you wanna spend your money on? And uh, let me know right now in the comments, what other microphones do you think compares in this price range? You know what I'm saying? I think uh, maybe a Neumann Tila 103 compares to the price and you know they're about the same price and all that. And let's go ahead and go to this high band pass and I'm gonna mess with it up and down and see and show you what it sounds like. So there are some other microphones in this price range, maybe like the Slate digital microphone um, that's supposed to emulate this microphone and the other companies and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, let me know what you think about this microphone. Is this a great rival to the thousand dollar microphone range? And as you can see, I don't have the phantom power set up because we're using the power supply in the back and you don't need to use any of that. And you're gonna get a very clean sound. Maybe you don't have this preamp. Maybe you have like universal audio plugins. So we're just gonna jump into there and just play around with different plugins. And I'm gonna plug this microphone directly into the interface. All right gang, so I have the UA8000 plugged in directly into my universal audio Twin X. And I have nothing in the unison slot. So I'm gonna place in different plugins so I can show you exactly what this microphone sounds like. So let's go ahead and start off with the Neve 1073. Mic check one, two, how does it sound? Does it sound like the actual hardware that I had before? 
Does this sound like the Neve 1073 hardware? Let me know right now in the comments. Uh, you know, let's go ahead and turn it up a little bit. You know, 40 doesn't sound bad on this plug-in. But, um, you know, when I have the hardware, I actually have it at 35. So maybe just let me turn it up right here. Okay, that sounds a little bit better. Okay. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Does it sound similar? Does it sound the same? Uh, let's go ahead and play with some of these knobs here. My check one, two. My check one, two. How does this sound? And yeah, man, uh, I think this sounds pretty good. Sounds decent. I'm not going to lie. I don't think they sound similar. The real hardware and the actual plug-in. And this plug-in is the reason why I bought the hardware because I thought the plug-in sounded so good. Now just going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Uh, so let me go ahead and put the secret settings in here going up to 7,000 and then turning it up. Might check one, two. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Does it sound the same? Does it sound better? Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the SSL preamp. All right, gang, so I have this in the SSL preamp. And like I said before, man, I'm just going to go through some of these set, these EQs real quick so you know exactly what this microphone sounds like. And, you know, like I said, man, I think this microphone sounds pretty good um, when you have all these plugins and stuff like that, messing with it and, and all that. And uh, yeah, man. And another reason why I wanted to review this microphone, because I thought that there are things in this microphone that you could actually you know, make better, like the tube and stuff like that. It's not exactly 100% the same. I guess it's supposed to be a different type of tube, but the same name, like they are the same tube, but like the tube in this microphone is supposed to be a little bit thinner versus on the Sony, the $10,000 microphone is supposed to have like a thicker tube or something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, man. And even looking for those tubes and stuff like that is very expensive. Some of them cost them like $300. If you can find one, you know what I'm saying? It's, if you can find one, you're good to go. But it's kind of hard to find the Sony tube that's supposed to go into the real microphone. But out of the box, I think this sounds like a really great microphone. Let me know what you guys think about this microphone. Does this sound good or not? Do you think it's worth the price? Make sure you guys check out zsounds.com. Again, they sent me this microphone. Appreciate you guys. And don't forget to check out themusicgame.com. There's a link in my description where you can get drum kits, loop kits, templates for Pro Tools, FL Studio, mixing and mastering. If you guys need help with that, I got you. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about more videos like this. You guys stay safe. Peace.